What's up friends, it's Mike again, and welcome back to my channel where I find awesome things to simplify your life. Today we have the latest and greatest Samsung Galaxy Buds here, and of course the Java Elite 65Ts. They're both great all-purpose true wireless earbuds, and we're gonna put them against each other in these areas so that you can find out which one is in fact the right one for you. And first of all, this is gonna be a longer video, there's a lot of material to cover. So for your convenience, I put the timestamps in the comments below so you can jump to the parts that matter to you the most. And by the way, there is a giveaway going on here to celebrate my channel hitting 15,000 and now we're at 17 so I'm gonna be giving away either one of these depending which works better for you the details are at the end of the video and if this video has helped you in any way at all please like and subscribe to support the channel and turn that notification on to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube and without further ado let's get right into it so first of all we're gonna compare the sound quality with both of these the bass is actually very warm very punchy and uh, it's really nice for what it is and the mids and highs are really clear as well you won't get any distortions even if you're playing at a higher volume both of these were made for the average consumers and not the audiophiles out there so you're not gonna expect the most HD sound or a large sound stage but I mean the sound quality is spot-on for the price that you're paying for in my opinion for listening to podcasts and like music while you're running commuting and whatnot both both of these are gonna work very very well but in my comparison of using this one after the other the biggest difference that I found was that the Jarvis sound a bit better in general the sound was warmer fuller rounder uh, I hope you know what I mean and the mids and highs have a bit more dynamics than the Galaxy Buds and yes I did test out the different EQs for both of them as well and the result was the same it might be a marginal difference you might not even notice if you don't try them one after the other but if I had to rate the sound quality out of 10 I would give the Jarvis a 7.5 to a 7.5 8 and the Galaxy Buds a 7.0 to a 7.5 and this all depends on what you're listening to. So really if you were looking at these two in the first place you're gonna be someone who's not looking for the best sound quality anyways you're looking for the best value and this is where we get into all the features and the knickknacks and stuff. So if you want to configure the sound and access its features more, both of these have an app for it. But with the Galaxy Buds, there's no app for the iPhone, so that's something important to note. So firstly, we're going to quickly go over the equalizer. The wind goes to the Jabras because you can configure them more, and if you use the presets, there's actually a significant difference when you use it versus the Galaxy Buds because when you use the equalizer presets in here, when you go over to more bass heavy side, the details are clouded and everything, and if you go over to the less bass side, there's literally no bass at all and it's not a very pleasant experience. And the next thing is that these two use passive noise isolation which just means that they use the ear tips over here to create a tight seal around your ear canals and because of this there's also little to no sound leaking at all and this is good so people can't hear what you're listening to and it blocks off the ambient sounds and if you do want to hear what's outside both of these do have the hear through feature that uses the mics on the earbuds themselves to replicate the sound that's outside and pumps them into your ears so that you're aware of your surroundings and I mean this is a really useful feature when you're in the office because I mean if your boss walks behind you and says hello you don't want to be like ignoring him right <laughs> that happened to me once but I mean if you're doing sports outside it's always good to not get hit by a car or if you're walking home at night it's always good to see if someone's like kind of creeping on you so it's a very important safety feature and I would have to give the win over to the Jabra because you can actually activate the hear through just by double tapping the right earbud whereas this it gives you a quick ambient mode where you have to tap and hold it for two seconds and then it will start to work and it's, you can start hearing your surroundings but when you let go it doesn't work so when someone's talking to you while it's off you gotta be like wait wait, wait. yeah what's up so it's kind of weird you know and if you want that feature to be on the whole time you must access it through the app and by the way the hear through sound quality on both of these is good uh, they do amplify the sounds from the outside a bit so you will get that tinsy wincy hissing sound but I do have to mention that there is a bit more wind noise on the Galaxy Buds even when I was walking there was like a lot of sound so it's not that pleasant so if you're running or biking while the ambient sound is on it's just just turn it off whereas the Jarabas still have that wind noise but it's not that bad so even when I'm biking I still have it on so in the end it's really the sound quality and the convenience that gave Jabra the win over here being able to just turn it on fully and off through the earbuds itself is a lot more convenient so therefore you'll use it more so therefore it's more useful and next both of the apps have a way of finding your earbuds with the Jarabas it's actually like a GPS thing where it tells you its last location that it was turned on and with the Galaxy Buds if it's connected to your phone you can press the find button and it will make these chirping sounds 
but in my use, uh, I've never used any of these. It's very hard to lose these earbuds because every time you take them off, you're gonna have to put them in the case versus like put them in your pocket kind of thing. And with that being said, there are major differences that the Galaxy Buds have that the drivers don't have and vice versa. And we're gonna quickly go over them to see which one's useful for you. So with the Galaxy Buds, you can actually customize the tap and hold button. You can do voice command, quick ambient sound mode, or volume up with the right earbud and volume down with the left earbud. So this is nice, but in my experience, if you do use the quick ambient mode, you will have to give up the volume up and volume down button. For myself, I had to choose uh, quick ambient mode on my right earbud and voice command on my left earbud. And the other thing is that with these earbuds, you can actually use them individually by themselves. So if you wanna use the left one only and put the right back in the case, music and calls will work for the left versus uh, with most earbuds, it only does that with the right earbud. So this is a nice feature if you're someone who rolls around in bed while wearing earbuds, you can wear whichever one that you like. And with the JR Buds in the app, it does have background sounds that you can choose from, like white noise, pink noise, lake sounds, rain sounds, so that you can listen to them if you're in a busier environment and it can help you sleep. And I myself actually use that feature a few times, so I really appreciate that I didn't have to download another app for that. And the other thing is that this can be paired simultaneously to two devices at once. So this is really important if you are someone who does calls and works on your laptop a lot so that if you do get a call and you're watching something on your laptop you can just pause the video and switch over to your phone instantly and seamlessly without messing with the Bluetooth settings but with the Galaxy Buds if you do want to connect to a new device all you have to do is go in your Bluetooth settings and press connect and it will connect right away without you having to disconnect the previous device and this is pretty impressive but I mean it's still it's not simultaneously connected so if you are someone who switches between devices a lot the Jabra's are gonna work a lot better for you and the last thing to mention is that uh, while both of these have voice commands, this allows you to choose Alexa as your voice assistant as well. And the last thing that differentiates the both of these is that the call quality on this is a lot better. It has a four mic array and this has a lot of mics in it as well. But in my test, the call quality is better on these. And enough talking about it, I think the best way to show you is to do a call quality test. Hey guys, so this is a sound quality test where I'm trying to imitate background sound music when I'm in a coffee shop. It's coming out of my speakers right here and I'm using the mic on my camera. So right now, we're going to switch over to these Galaxy Buds and see what they sound like. So this is the Galaxy Buds right here, testing 1, 2, 3. Does it separate or isolate my voice from the background sounds? And of course, we have the wind noise test with my fan over here. So uh, let me know how it sounds to you. Is there a lot of fluttering sounds? Testing 1, 2, 3. This is the Galaxy Earbuds right here. And right now, we're going to switch over to the Galaxy Buds. So now I'm using the Jabra's in my ear right here. Testing, one, two, three. This is the Jabra Elite 65T. Is it isolating my voice well from the environment? And of course, we have the wind test here. In my experience, this does work better than all the other ones that I've tried. So uh, here it goes. Testing, one, two, three. This is the Jabra 65T. How's the wind noise? Is there a lot of fluttering sounds? And uh, yeah, testing, one, two, three. So you guys can judge for yourself which sounds better, comment below and let me know. And of course, I know you guys care a lot about what these look like. And I gotta say that the Galaxy Buds are a lot, lot smaller. So when they fit in your ears, it's gonna look a lot more slicker, a lot more inconspicuous. But uh, to me, it's not really that big of a difference. So here's the shot of me with both earbuds in my ear and me turning my head. So for myself, I think this is more modernish, cool, minimalist kind of thing. And this looks more professional and it looks good as well. I can't complain about it. So comment below and let me know which one looks better. Next, we're gonna go into the user experience, comfort, and how secure these are for sports. So in my user experience, both of these have worked pretty well. They both use the latest Bluetooth 5.0, so the connection is solid. I didn't experience any dropouts, but the thing to note here is that uh, there's absolutely no latency on the Jarbas, on my iPhone, uh, Galaxy Note 8, or my laptop at all when I'm watching Netflix or YouTube. But when I'm using my iPhone or my iPad or my MacBook Pro, the YouTube app actually lags like half a second, so the lips is unsynced from the audio. So that was kind of weird to me. But on my Samsung Note 8, it was good, it was synced. So this might be the case because the Galaxy Buds supports Samsung's scalable codec, which means that it has a more stable Bluetooth connection with the Samsung device, and that's why it works better with Samsung phones. But besides that, the drivers use hard press buttons, it's very accurate, and this uses touch controls. I can say that the touch controls are really responsive, they register my taps really accurately, and they're actually better than my Sennheiser touch controls right here. This, uh, it misses my tap, so you have to keep tapping, and it's really annoying. 
So really, in this category, I gotta call it a draw, but the Galaxy Buds might work a bit better with Samsung devices. So as for comfort, both of these are really comfortable. There's no doubt about it. With the ear tips, they just sit outside of your ear canal, so you don't have to squish them all the way in. With the Galaxy Buds, it does have a soft flex fin over here for a more secure fit along the inner part of your ear ridge right here. So it secures itself mainly using two points, the ear canal and the ridge over here. With the Jarras, it secures itself with the ear canal as well, but it also has this really big bulgy part over here that sits on the bottom part of your ear. So it fits like this and as you can see it sits snugly on the bottom part of my ear. So in real life use I've used these to watch Netflix and YouTube for hours on end. Both of these are really comfortable. I don't feel a lot of ear fatigue at all. And if you're wondering about how secure these are, let's do a shake test. So I got the Galaxy Buds in my right ear and the Jabba's on my left and here it goes. So up and down and sideways it's pretty <laughs> pretty secure. And now I'm really gonna try to force these out of my ears. <laughs> oh man, I should stop doing these shake tests, it really hurts. So they do not come out, they are pretty damn secure. So even if you play soccer or really vigorous sports, you're more than okay. But if you do go in the rain, the Jabra's are gonna work a lot better for that because it is sweat, water, and dust resistant, and it's rated at IP56. That means if you splash water all over it, it's gonna be okay as long as you don't submerge it in water. But with the Galaxy Buds, Samsung says that it's sweat resistant, but in my research, it's water resistance rating is only IPX2. That means drops of water and drops of sweat is fine, but if you're facing heavier, rainier situations, uh, I might want to put this back in my pocket. But in my experience, I did run and bike with this, although not in rain. But regardless, I think you're gonna be more than okay using these for your workouts. But just note that both of these do have that really heavy like body movement vibration sound. And you can see what this sounds like by just plugging your ears and walking around. You'll be able to hear every one of your footsteps. This doesn't really bother me, but it might bother some people who are like more sensitive to that kind of thing, especially if you're gonna be running with these. So up to now, if you judge the earbuds by themselves, you might say the Jarbas have the slight advantage there. But when you come to the build quality of the cases, that's when the Galaxy Buds win. So right off the bat, I have to give the win of the cases, build quality, and everything else to the Galaxy Buds. Because it secures the earbuds inside magnetically so it doesn't fall like this. Versus the Jarbas that just fall out like this. I mean, it's convenient to get them right away. But I do have to say that when I was walking or in the car, when I was putting them in, it did fall out and hit the floor. So uh, good job on the durability, but uh, not really good on the... Uh, safety part of it because if it goes in the sewers I'm screwed and uh, yeah magnets are a bit more premium which reminds me it has a magnetic closure over here too as well versus Jabra's it uses a plastic hook there's nothing wrong with the plastic hook but I mean if it breaks in the future I'm kind of screwed because you know anyways the size of the Galaxy Buds case is a lot smaller than the Jabra's as well it's gonna fit in your pocket like you don't even know it's there versus the Jabra's uh, actually I can't complain about it because I've used this for 10 months now and when I put them in my pocket with my keys I don't really feel them anyways but the major difference here is that it uses micro USB versus this charges through the USB type C port which is a lot more convenient because with my phone laptop and earbuds and headphones everything is USB C in 2019 so that is the standard and this you might see as a bit of an older tech but if you carry those cables around anyways it won't be that big of a deal for you the other thing is that this has wireless charging but I do have to say that I don't use the wireless charging as much because uh, it's inconvenient to bring out with me but I mean if you do want to be more future proofed this case is it so with the Galaxy Buds these can actually hold six hours per charge and when you put them in the case it can charge for another seven hours giving you 13 hours in total and with the Jarbas they have five hours per charge and when you put them back in the case you get two more charges for a total of 15 hours now at these levels I think that it's more than enough because for myself I only use them for two or three hours max at a time and when you put them back in the case they're gonna charge and it's not a big deal and with the Samsung if you do need that extra hour then uh, that might be important for you but I do have to say that the battery life is the draw here so in the end are they actually worth it and which one should you get to be honest here guys, both of these are great for the average consumer. You're gonna have a great time listening to music and your podcast with them. But the Jabba's might work better for you if you're an iPhone user because you can download and access the app there versus Galaxy Buds, there's no app so uh, you can't really customize all the features and knickknacks and stuff. And if you're someone who makes a lot of calls walking around, especially if you're outside, this has a bit more clearer call quality. And lastly, if you're someone who works out a lot, runs rain or shine kind of thing, and you need to toggle the hear through on and off very quickly, the Jabba's are gonna work a lot better for you there.
But if you want to look slick and be like the high tech guy, these are going to look a bit better in your ear. They're like minimalist. That's like the trend nowadays. And you can be like, hey guys, look what this can do. Wireless charge, USB type C. Ooh, hot stuff. So if you're that kind of guy, I think these are going to work a lot better for you. At this point in time, I would definitely recommend these two over all the other Amazon budget true wireless earbuds out there because personally, I tried a few and they weren't that good. If you do end up getting them, my guess is that they're only going to last you for like under a year. But with these two, the value is spot on for the money that you're paying. And I do think that you're going to look forward to using them every day. So with that being said, I hope I explained everything clearly so that you have a good idea which one's better for you. And I didn't forget about the giveaway details. So all you gotta do to win one of these bad boys here is to subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment which one you want, which color and why, and follow my Instagram. Because in the middle of April, I'll be posting a picture of both of these and announcing the winner there. So that's how you find out if you want or not. And the deadline is the end of March to enter this contest. So uh, good luck guys. So really, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope I helped you guys out. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn that notification on to get the latest updates on my YouTube channel. I review tech, true wireless earbuds, monitors, speakers, and just tech overall. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye. An important point that I do want to make here is that if you already do have the Jarvis 65Ts, I don't think it's worth it to switch over to the Galaxy Buds. If you do switch over to these, all you'll really be getting is the USB Type-C and the wireless charging, and an app that might or might not be useful to you. And if you already have the Galaxy earbuds, I think this is a great start to true wireless earbuds. Uh, you can use this for like two or three years before you upgrade to these or even better earbuds out there.